guys, Howard here with uh, Bustin' Out for Rosie, another one from Tommy Bolin. Since I started doing these Tommy Bolin tutorials, uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for more of his stuff, right? And uh, as I've mentioned in a couple of previous videos, I haven't yet delved into any of his solos as far as tutorials are concerned, but maybe I'll get round to that. It just seems like everybody's more interested in the tunes themselves, you know, hey Howard, what chords is he playing and all that kind of stuff. So. I got several requests for this one. Uh, shout out to Jim M on this one. It's pretty easy. It's just got a few parts. Of course, he's got an amazing solo at the end of it. And uh, so once again, if I get around to those, I will. But again, everybody seems much more interested in the tunes, I think. And this is busting Out for Rosie, of course. And I play that opening lick by just using my index finger at the third fret, the sixth fret, and then the eighth fret. Uh, because I think if you play it like this, <laughs> It cuts off that C note a bit too much, even like this. So I like to play it like that to capture what I think is kind of what you hear on the recording. How that C note kind of sustains into uh, the C minor chord right there, okay? So uh, let's get into this. It's just a downstroke across the top string, three, six, eight. And then I'm forming a, a C minor chord and the uh, rhythm on that is. So there's some muting in there, right? So let me do that nice and slow and be sure to just attack the first three strings with your pick, stay away from the others. So you're just releasing the pressure on the chord to get that cool little rhythm that he has. And you'll hear that on the intro, right? He plays an E flat chord and they let it ring out. And in addition to the uh, percussiveness, you want a glissando off of that chord. You hear that pretty distinctly on the recording. And that works out great because it just brings your hand right back to the third fret, right? And they land that E flat chord right there. Uh, just before the vocal comes in, they sustain it for a couple of measures. And then they're off and running. So here's the intro in its entirety. to the song okay and so that main riff when the vocal starts when the verse comes in uh, it goes for eight times if I'm correct on that it goes for eight times and then we're into the next uh, part of the song which is a uh, a flat major to a B flat major to an E flat major and those are just solid eighth note down strokes so it's one and two and three and four We're landing right there we're coming off of the E flat chord and we're landing a C sharp over E flat pretty easy chord to play in fact if you can play your bar chords this whole song is pretty easy to play so once again we've got A flat B flat E flat to C sharp over E flat and you want to do that a couple of times you're actually going to do it three times but on the third time we move up to a C sharp major chord from the A flat to the B flat, same shape, just a major bar chord shape, all the way up to C sharp at the ninth fret, right? So it's one and two and three and four and stop, okay? And then it's back to the riff. Now 
Now what happens on the second go around of this is we come back of course to the A flat, B flat, E flat, etc. Except instead of going up to that C sharp chord at the ninth fret, they go to a G minor to an F and that becomes a, a little chord cycle that the keyboard solo takes place over. So again, the second go around is like so. G minor to F major for that uh, keyboard solo and the uh, rhythm on that is that's basically it down up down 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 up down 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 and they jump off of it after the G minor chord bringing it back to A flat but this gets pretty interesting through here so as I said they jump off of the G minor and they jump off of the G minor to an A flat, so it's back to the A flat chord, but it's actually an A flat major seventh, and I'll explain that right here. So we're cruising along, and we jump off to the A flat. But right as that A flat happens, you hear this, right underneath it, and it just keeps going. So that's an A-flat major 7th chord just being arpeggiated, B-flat major, and then C-sharp major. These are all triads. And you're back too. And there's more vocals, and then that just continues on for the entire outro of the song. And Tommy comes in playing some amazing stuff. Real standard uh, Tommy Bolin stuff. You know, he just goes nuts with those kind of uh, spitfire little licks in there. So anyway, that's busting Out for Rosie, as requested. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. And uh, we'll see you real soon.